Today is my last day at my present company. And I'm leaving today to go and start on a new journey in my life. I'm going to be leasing a truck. That's right, I'm gonna do the dreaded, hated lease purchase. And I'll let you know the reasons why I'm doing the lease purchase in just a minute. But first I wanna say that I was gonna go with CRST because they sent me a text. It said something like, uh, you know, $10,000 a week net um, when you drive for us as a lease purchase operator. And of course I figured, no way. So I called them and of course that was for team. So I said, would you cut that in half then? And that's more realistic for a solo driver. And they said, yes. So I was gonna go over there and without getting into it, I just wanna say that um, there was a little bit of a delay and I had already given my notice where I'm at. And so uh, I wanna go, I wanna go from this company. I mean, the money is awesome here. My paycheck today for one week was 1,500 and some odd dollars, but I don't like working here. I don't like it. And I feel like I could make that kind of money somewhere else. And eventually, you know, for my retirement, uh, I wanna get into uh, maybe three to five trucks but that's getting a little bit ahead of myself on my reasons for why. Um, so I went ahead and went with CRST because of my first employer who is mm, not really a nice guy. And so he doesn't like to um, verify my employment. And that was another problem with CRST is that they said, well, he verified your employment, but he didn't verify that you were a truck driver. And they wanted me to come up with uh, check stubs and W-2. Well, he didn't give me any of that stuff. So uh, as a matter of fact, I had just called the IRS to have them send me my W-2 because he didn't make it available to me. So uh, I had none of that. However, um, last, well, I guess it was like uh, five months ago now, I was gonna go over to JCT, but I chickened out. And um, they, it took them a month and they called me after, after I started here and they said, we finally did verify your employment because they would call my first employer and he just gave them the runaround. They called at least three times that I know of because of course they kept in touch with me. And um, he would tell them that uh, they had to call another number. They'd call it, it was not even a valid number. Uh, they he they called one time and he said, oh, I got to plug the fax machine in, wait five minutes and call back. And th nothing happened. He didn't make any effort, you know. And then I came in and I said, well, I know John Christner's been calling you for my employment. And he said, oh, no, nobody's called me. Well, that's the kind of person that he was, you know. So, um, and I'm looking around because I'm trying to watch my light for my door because I'm getting unloaded. Um... So when um, CRST didn't work out right away, I said, what the heck, I'm just gonna go over there to John Christner and uh, you know, I could go over there for a while, you know. For me, and, and, and this is why I'm going for the lease purchase is because um, I do wanna own my own truck, but I don't think I wanna lease anywhere for five years. I'm 57 years old. I don't wanna lease for five years before I move on. I don't have that kind of time. If I was in my 20s or 30s, I'd think, oh yeah, that's probably great. But I'm not, I'm older. And so I have to kind of speed things up and keep things rolling. So um, I'd look at leasing as uh, on the job training for owning your own truck. I figure, hey, you know, what if I suck at keeping receipts? You know, what if I, I just am too lazy to do it? You know, what if I'm not as organized? And, you know, what if I think it's not even worth it? Well, then I'm not stuck in a truck that I'm buying that I have, um, that I have payments on, you know, and I have to, you know, I, I can't sell it because I owe too much on it or, or whatever, you know, and in the meantime, I'm killing myself by, you know, not running my business right. So, um, the lease purchase is, it's great on the job training. People say, well, they're making all the money and you're just getting ripped off. Well, uh, you know, it's like going to truck driving school, only you're going to owner operator school and you know, you're getting paid for it. Now, if I make less than what I'm making here, 
you know, if I'm only bringing home a thousand dollars a week, then, you know, I'm not going to be there very long. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to be there long. But, you know, if I'm making 12, 15, 16, 1800 a week there, you know, then that's okay. I'll hang around till I find something that pays me really good. And, uh, you know, I found a couple of places that pay like their drivers are making like uh, four and eight thousand dollars a week that's after expenses that's what they're that's what they're netting and I contacted one of them yesterday and they want two years verifiable and I only have one year verifiable because uh, when I drove 14 years ago for 14 years so that was like almost 30 years ago nobody has records that long even though they're all on the computer they're still not there so um so that you know lease purchase is it's not for everybody just like being an owner operator isn't for everybody um see here yesterday on facebook one of my friends posted a uh, post that said uh my friend is an owner operator and he's having to go out of business because of the fuel prices I'm like you know well maybe your friend had not to drive over 70 miles an hour you know uh maybe your friend ought to um you know, pay attention to where he buys his fuel. I don't know. You know, there's a lot he can do. Maybe your friend ought not idle his truck 24-7. You don't know what the guy's doing. But what you do know is that there's tons of owner-operators that are not going out of business. And the way I look at it is, if somebody else can do it, I can do it. If another driver can do it, I can do it. I'm just as good as anybody else. I'm just as capable. I'm just as smart. I can do it. So... Stick with me, and I will let you know how uh, orientation goes over at John Christner. I've got a uh, $2,000 bonus, sign-on bonus. They said I get the first uh, as soon as I leave at orientation, and the second as soon as I pick up my second load. It's a reefer, and that's another thing. What the heck, man? I learned how to drive a reefer, you know, how to pull a reefer. Uh, you know, but the more knowledge you have, the, the better off you are. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be all right. At least for a while. See ya.